everyone! Welcome back to Math A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lesson for today is about mathematical system. Let us discuss the four classifications of mathematical system. The first are the undefined terms. Second are the defined terms. The third is postulate. And then the last one is theorem. So let us discuss first undefined terms in geometry. Okay, so first is point. A point denotes a position in space and has no dimension. It has no size, no width, no length, and no depth. So it is shown by a dot and named using a capital letter. So for our example, we have here point M. So ang basa dito ay point M or simply M. So, another undefined term in geometry is line. A line is consists of points and extends infinitely in both directions. It is named using two points or usually lowercase letter. So, for our example, we have this figure. So, this can be named as line AB or line M. Okay, so this will be our symbol, line AB. Next is a plane. A plane is a flat surface which extends infinitely in all directions. It is named by a capital letter or three points on a plane that are not on the same line. So for example, we have this figure. So this figure can be named as plane P or plane ABC. So this will be our symbol for our plane. We have plane ABC. So let us now proceed to the defined terms in geometry. First is a line segment. It is a part of a line that has two endpoints whose length is fixed. For example, line segment MN or segment MN. So we have here this figure. So these two are the endpoints of line segment MN. So in symbol, we can write this as segment MN. Okay, so next, ray. A ray is a part of a line which starts in an endpoint and extends only in one direction. For example, we have ray MN. So as you can see in our figure, ang ating ray MN starts with an endpoint which is point M and then extends in one direction. Okay, so in symbol, we can write this as ray MN. Another is an angle. An angle is a union of two rays with a common endpoint called vertex. So for example, we have angle LMN or angle NML or angle M. When we illustrate this one, we have this figure. Okay? So again, pwede natin i-name ang ating angle as angle LMN or angle NML or simply angle M. Next, 
collinear points. So these are points that lies on the same line. Example, we have points A, B, and C are collinear points. So in illustration, we have point A, point B, point C. As you can see, silang tatlo ay nasa isang line. Kaya sila ay tinawag na collinear points. Next, non-collinear points. These are points that are not on the same line. For example, points D, E, and F are non-collinear points. So in an illustration, we have this point E, point D, point F, which are not on the same line. So, ang tawag sa kanila ay non-collinear points. Next, we have coplanar points. Coplanar points are points that lies on the same plane. Example, points A, B, C, and D are coplanar points. So, ibig sabihin, ang point A... Point B, point C, at point D ay nasa loob lamang ng isang plane. So next, non-coplanar points. These are points that are not on the same plane. For example, points E, F, G, and H are non-coplanar points. So this figure illustrates non-coplanar points. So, ano naman ang tinatawag nating postulate? Postulate is a statement or rule that are accepted or considered to be true without proof or validation. So, these are some examples. First, two distinct points determine a line. So, kapag meron daw tayong dalawang point, we can form a line. Then next, if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Kapag ang dalawang plane ay nag-meet, ang tawag sa kanilang intersection is a line. So how about theorem? Theorems are statements proved to be true using postulates, definitions, other established theorems, and logic. So, for example, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Another example of theorem, if two angles are vertical angles, then they have equal measures. So, yun yung mga example ng theorem. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Grace. See you again next time. Bye!